Reports of a few decent downpours over eastern South Africa, but I know there's still areas that's dry and thirsting for much-needed rain. So don't lose hope. The moisture levels are still high the rest of the week. So here's your Thursday forecast. It's not only a trough extending over the western parts of South Africa that's transporting moisture. We also have this high pressure system in the Indian Ocean that's also pushing in some moisture and cloud for the eastern areas of South Africa. Therefore, we are expecting showers and thunderstorms to continue overnight into Thursday morning with most of the rain falling over parts of northwest. A few scattered showers also expected to bring relief over Halteng, Limpopo and Pumalanga and then becoming a stormy year over parts of Kozuri Natal. Up until Friday, models are indicating that another 50 millimeters are likely over the eastern and northeastern parts of South Africa. But for this Thursday, scattered showers expected since early to move over northwest as well as parts of Limpopo and Pumalanga. And this includes Halteng, except for the extreme southwestern areas. And then thunderstorms becoming scattered to widespread here over parts of the Free State as well as KwaZulu Natal. And it's there where the Weather Service has issued a level two yellow warning for the possibility of severe thunderstorms as well as over the high felt of Pumalanga and including parts of Halteng. These storms could lead to a quick heavy downpour or large amounts of small hail as well as a gusting winds. Starting with your forecast in the Western Cape, we're expecting a lot of sunshine and heating up the afternoon, but we are expecting a southerly wind to pick up along the coast, 24 degrees in Cape Town, later winds turning a southwesterly and blowing fresh in parts of the west coast as well as the crew. Runaway fires a risk on a Thursday and onshore flow for the southern coastline with temperatures in the mid-20s, heating up in Beaufort West as well as Net. A few thunderstorms expected over the extreme northwestern parts of the Eastern Cape. Most of the storms expected north of the escarpment over Kumani, Alival North, as well as Kua, and also a light onshore flow light bring in some drizzle for the coastal areas. A coast low also resulting in an onshore flow for Durban and then winds turning northerly for Richards Bay. More showers expected in the morning, mainly sunny at first and then becoming partly cloudy and stormy in KwaZulu Natal, especially over the northern areas in the vicinity of Newcastle as well as fray hate mostly cloudy skies with more scattered showers and thunderstorms expected to move over Pumalanga as well as large parts of Limpopo most of the stormy conditions expected from late afternoon here over parts of the bushveld a few thunderstorms overnight into Thursday moving over parts of northwest later a partly cloudy day temperatures in the mid-20s with thunderstorms redeveloping from late afternoon in the northern Cape a southerly wind blowing moderate to fresh along the coast and a southwester picking up especially in the crew a high fire danger in place with thunderstorms expected in places stretching over the northern and eastern areas it's a partly cloudy day in the free state with a 30 percent chance of a few patchy thunderstorms on thursday more scattered showers and thunderstorms expected to move over halting on thursday but most of the day it's mostly cloudy with temperatures in the mid-20s similar conditions expected on a friday over eastern south africa showers and thunderstorms will continue to bring much needed rain for the areas unfortunately remaining dry over the western parts of South Africa. That is southeastern Cape Doctor picking up in the mother city, soaring to 30 degrees on a Saturday. Lots of sunshine and especially heating up in the northern Cape. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.